I think the uh, September uh, CPI rose to 3% uh, year-to-year basis. This move has been uh, largely expected from uh, early figures of CPI for Tokyo. So uh, this is not a big surprise for the financial markets. Uh, but for the Japanese consumers, uh, this is really a heavy burden uh, because uh, it is the highest inflation rate for Japan in the past 30 years when we exclude the temporary effects from the consumption tax hike. Uh, Kamala Sad, does it give you any sort of, is it any sort of consolation at all that the core, excluding uh, food and energy, came in at plus 1.8 percent? So that is below two. We have seen core inflation above 2 percent, uh, right, for about five, six months now. Uh, and at least this seems like it's a, a bit of an easing uh, or break of that trend. Yes, uh, you know that the energy prices has been stabilized, uh, partly due to the uh, recent uh, decline uh, in crude oil prices in international par- markets. But the uh, uh, prices of foods, processed foods, and the prices of durable goods, durable goods such as home appliances, uh, is continuing rising and will continue to rise in the next few months. Uh, because uh, uh, many Japanese food manufacturers already announced their second or third or fourth uh, price increase already. And uh, regarding the price of durable goods, most of the durable goods in Japan are imported goods. So the the prices of durable goods are are strongly affected by the uh, foreign exchange rate. So, uh, So the recent week are Japanese yen will push up uh, those prices of goods further in the coming months. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.